Welcome back to the show. It's still the Faji Friday, right? Mm -hmm. Faji yeah. Friday edition <laughs> of the show. And our guest is Rico Suave, um, ex Big Brother Niger season three, housemaid, uh, actor, chef, amongst other things. You're currently now a singer or has always been a singer, right? He's, he's yeah. now a singist. Now a singist. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to the show. Swat. It's good to sure. have you. It's good to have good you to on have the show. You. So, I mean, what's, 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 what's going on with Rico? Uh, what have you been up to? The, what are you up to these days? Yeah, I'm up to the reason that brought me here, you know, this life, okay. making music, you know, and um, uh, yeah, just, you know, being more open to life, mm. you know, like I said, taking it, taking it a day at a time, yeah. Mm. Okay. Amazing mm -hmm. stuff, amazing. So, so, you know, we were talking just before the show and you told me uh, you've been doing music for a while, but mm. what made you decide to get into it, like? Because I know you, I wouldn't say you abandoned it, but you maybe rested it for a bit. Mm -hmm. Went to do Big Brother, did other mm -hmm. businesses that we saw you on social media doing now. You're back in music. I mean, tell us about that. Yeah, um, well, music has always been a part of me. You know, it's, it's always been like my uh, place to express myself in the most natural way possible. You know, and um, uh, I've, been, I've, been on, I've been about it for like a while, you know. But um, I would say I had to use other means, mm. you know, to support it. So acting TV basically was just one of the means I used as a source to support it. So I think because I spent so much time on trying to make enough from TV and pushed my music, it kind of looked or it came up front like, you know, like I'm you're a TV guy like or I wasn't doing it. So, yeah, um, I'm sorry to music anyway, you know. But she's been taking care of me for so long. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I think um, probably that's the perspective, this perspective that people had, you know, okay. had gotten about me. The fact that maybe I wasn't doing it because, well, it was just because I was just trying to support it. Mm. Yeah. With Big Brother, I know that a lot of people go to Big Brother having high hopes that when they come out, they would literally just, you know, and a couple of people have been able no, to. When you come out, you literally blow. You and literally all of that. Is, so yeah. what has your experience been like from all, yeah, season three, and then you get to see different people come each year and all of that, you know. Mm. What has it been like for you, honestly, from Big Brother up until now? Just literally trying to, what I say, just trying to do your thing. Yeah. The expectations are a lot, you know, uh, especially on me. Hmm. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people expect from me. I've, I've heard people say, you know, uh, we wanted you to win, you know, hmm. we, we thought you should have been the winner, you know, and so I'm not the winner now. So people like expecting me to be some winner outside here in the real life. Okay. Hmm. And it's a lot of pressure. I want to lie. It's a lot of pressure, regardless of, uh, will I say, upside down economy. Uh, there's a lot that you know as an artist you have to go through mm -hmm. because you need to support your family you, know, you need to support your craft mm -hmm. you, know, you need to support your brand mm -hmm. and when you come out of a place like Big Brother they just think that you know mm -hmm. everything is just going on like that you mm -hmm. know well the truth is you could decide you can decide to be you know uh, what what the what the house gives you and the house gives you the ability to be an influencer yeah. so you can decide to focus on being an influencer and yeah you know that's what the fans of big brother want to see you jumping on this brand and promoting this or ambassadizing this or causing one controversy here and that but i'm not about controversy and if i was controversy for me would be probably be like you know my, my my songs going out there you know on 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 the charts you know topping charts you know doing good numbers out there that would be my controversy. I don't want to have to be throwing tantrums to mm. get media attention and all that kind of thing. Mm. It's bad, not really my bad style. Publicity. Yeah, mm. no, it's not bad. Publicity is publicity. Mm. There's no bad. There's no good. God mm. said, "Thank you in both good and bad times." There's no bad. There's no good. Mm. It's mm. just the perspective of how you see things. Mm. Okay. So yeah. Let, let's talk about your music now. Uh, mm. Let's let's let the people into your space musically your style of music, um, what song you're pushing right now, yeah. and, and of course, what they're gonna expect from you going forward. Yeah, uh, my music is, is just, you know, is, is, is an emblem of me, mm -hmm. <laughs> I should say, you know. I basically, I could start singing about how, you know, I was at 
the, the show today. I met two great hosts today. Mm. I got two cups in my way. Mm. I'm feeling fly every day. You know, and you're, and you're, and you're Rico Suave. And I'm Rico yeah. Suave. Hey, hey, hey. 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 <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. That's a nice follow up. Man. Great. Nice, so nice. that's that's just a representation of my life. You know. Most people always see me and judge me by my skin, by my cover, mm. you know, but they don't really know the demons I've had to face mm. and stuff like that. They think because I look like this, that everywhere is rosy. Mm. I ain't get money now, sit away in skin pee. You know the kind of cream we ain't go they use? <laughs> Not lie. I know they use cream. I did bath, air dry, yeah. and well, I stay indoors. Yeah. So my music basically is just an you know, expression of myself. Mm. I like to call it Afrofusion mm -hmm. because I'm growing up, you know, my cousin had a music mall store and used to sell a lot of, you know, music records. I records. used to be the little cashier boy that, you know, was at the deck. So that gave me a lot of exposure to different types style of music. I grew up listening to Stain, Lakin Park, mm. you know, Bon Jovi, Usher Raymond. Mm. Um, I was listening to Biggie Tupac, you know. So there's a whole lot of R&B in me, there's a whole lot of hip hop in me, there's a whole lot of even reggae dance style in me, mm. you know. So I put all those, time, all those, you know, stuff together and I'm trying to make a sound out of it. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Nice. Mm -hmm. uh, what you're acting? I think you've been in a couple of. Yeah, I'm. I'm currently life. playing the character OT in Tinsel. Mm. Uh, Tinsel, yeah, African Magic okay. Urban, Channel 153. You catch it there. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, there's tinsel, but I've never really considered myself as an actor. Why? Hmm. Because I used to call Nollywood movies comedy. All of their movies were comedy to me. The action was comedy, the comedy was comedy, the drama was comedy, the romance was comedy. Everything <laughs> in my <laughs> yeah, yeah, everything in my view of things was just comedy to me. Hmm. And I didn't want to come off being cocky. Yeah, you know, or making a fool of myself on TV to make somebody laugh. Mm. Nah, I'll make you laugh with what I say. Don't oh, worry. Mm. I got okay. I got a good sense of humor. So, yeah, I mean, that's that was my own trajectory of the whole thing. Mm. But little did I know that I will end up in becoming this yeah. same so, actor. So, are you are you enjoying it now? Does it still feel like comedy, or I, it now I, feels real to you? It, it's still it, it for Tinsel. I think that's why I like Tinsel because Tinsel gives me the space of it. Actually, feels like I'm acting drama. Like Tinsel will tell you, no, no, don't do the funny face here. Yeah, you don't mm. have to be too animated, you know, and you deliver the lines in, you know, just normal Nigerian English, mm -hmm. you know, not having to try and tweak things or you know, mm. make it funny. Nah. So I think that feels like drama to me. So yeah, okay. I think I'm cool with that. But I always tell people this, like as an actor, you're just a piece of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. mm. But as a musician, you're the puzzle. Okay. Yeah, like as an artist, I get to, you know, use my imagination, you know, source from my toolbox and bring out, you know, creative ideas from my head mm -hmm. and put it in a piece. But acting now, I'll be like, maybe I'm embodying the character of someone who is depressed. Mm. And the guy is depressed, he's way down, he's supposed to sit and render those lines. I'm trying to sit, which makes me feel natural with it. Mm -hmm. And then the director is like, no, why are you sitting down now? Stand up. And I'm like, <laughs> director, is like, Oga, are you director on this set? B, mm. Is it you, is so it you, you that's to going take. to pay me? Mm -hmm. Or B, is me that's going to pay you? You know, stuff like that. And then it now looks like it's a favor and you now have to be entitled to some kind of things. And it's not my type. It's yeah. not my way. I never yeah. saw myself that being that kind of person, you know, or working. I'm a control freak in my creative mm -hmm. space. So mm -hmm. I like to, you know, work you mm -hmm. know, with suggestions okay. and ideas. So sure. okay. that's the difference between me as an actor and yeah, and, a, yeah. yeah it's it, would, would would we be expecting a, a body of work soon or a major collaboration? And are you signed to? Are you pushing this independent or you're signed to? Because I see a very beautiful lady working yeah, around you. The beautiful lady is uh, yeah. my manager. Okay, goes by the name of Peggy Pegstar. Okay, mm. so you signed she, to the label. She is um, the, the principal of N N Nineteen Media. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, we we are working as a team. Okay. Mm. And because of how I wanted to come off as a place of, you know, not having to be confined by agreements and terms, mm. but let's rather have an understanding, you know, something that I believe that could last. Okay. Something like a friendship, you know. Because me, I know how to keep friends. I've had friends from 
10 years ago, 15 <laughs> years ago, you know, especially if you come off good to me, mm -hmm. I'll also reply the same energy. So yeah, and management is very important for any brand out there. Okay. You don't think you can do it on your own. It's not possible. I tried it for some few years. That's why they didn't hear of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's, I was going to ask that question, like in terms of, because I'm sure that you got quite a lot of offers after Big Brother and even up to yeah. now. So what was it? Um, was I it had previous you, management and you just, they were focused on a bigger act than okay. myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. A more bigger, well, I say no, more internationally exposed act mm -hmm. than myself. Because at the time, I was bigger than that person. Mm -hmm. Yes, as a brand, I was bigger than the person. But you no. Know, uh, I could understand what my management was trying to do at the, po at the, at the point, you know, trying to package me for a specific type of fee, did not. And a specific type of, you know, uh, where to be seen and stuff like that. Mm. But then, I did not win the show. I mm -hmm. came out as sixth housemate. I have to work. I have to do things to keep yeah. and to sustain it. Yeah. You know, so unfortunately that didn't happen and you know, I just decided to move on my life. Mm -hmm. Not okay. leaving, but I mean, just doing me. Mm. Interesting. And Interesting. long doing me came Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> nice, yeah, nice. So. Peggy, Peggy, Peggy. Don't, don't let me tell you Peggy about Peggy on, te on national television. Do you know her? Uh, Peggy? <laughs> oh, you know her. Peggy would stick a, 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 a straw <laughs> through your, this same your Peggy. skin and suck your blood. Wow. If she doesn't get what she wants. <laughs> I like her. She's very determined sometimes. Right. Yeah, um, y'all want the money, run for Peggy. Nice, <laughs> mm -hmm. nice, nice one. Nice one. So any body of work coming up, EP? Album? Yeah, um, I'm planning a mixtape, EP and album this year in the left, of the, in the many um, quarters left, a quick three quarters left. You know, I'm trying to, trying to see how I can make that possible, you mm. know, for my fans. You know, um, I love. I, I want to give my fans my music. I know they want to see yeah. me on TV still. They want to see me in the kitchen still. You know, but I was going to mention the chef part. And yeah, the acting I'm part. not a chef. I'm a cook. Okay. Chef is someone who goes to school for so that just kind of cook. thing. I don't know. I didn't so where did you learn how to cook? I just learned off of YouTube. Few YouTube videos. <laughs> Mom see, you know, Mom used to always. Mom she was strict. I mean, my mama raised me like like soldier. Mm. You understand. <laughs> Yes, if you do any how, you see any how. She <laughs> beats you or you punish you for days. Uh, yes, so I had my good home training thanks to my mom. Okay. Mm. You know, but Jesus. then because of the kind of system of that training, it kind of also you know, made yeah, you a certain you, you, way. It, it exactly. altered the discipline a bit. <laughs> exactly. It really did in some ways. And my mama stopped on my papa stopped on oh, so yeah. too stubborn people. I suppose they like that. Normal. Okay. Um, mm. But it's really nice talking to you, Rico Suave, and yeah. really getting to know what you've been up to and getting to know that you have a single and all the amazing things you have in stock. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Yeah. Um, My song, This Life, I didn't speak about This Life before we Yeah, leave. sure. Mm -hmm. This Life is a song where, you know, I wanted to make people understand that it's not everything that glitters that is gold. You mm. understand? And at that moment, we we're all facing it in 2020. But um, for me, you know, it was kind of hard because I left, or my PA left me. You know, he had to sleep and not wake up. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's so right. Yeah. yeah. So it was, it was, it was a bit hard on me. Mm. You know, I didn't know how to take it. It was, it was crazy. I was like, ah. So if Victor just slept and he not wake up, and yeah. That means myself will be sleep and, and not wake up. Sleep. <laughs> but so, thank God for life. Yeah, thank God for life. So because of that, it just made me more open. It, it, I think that's what caused my awakening. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, you know, I had to record this life. Mm -hmm. This morning I did my room. Just there is in one or two. She not because I no rock Versace. Me say I no go there happy. I no be highest in the room. And a poki no they shine my shoe. She na because I no try Bugatti. Me say I no go there happy. Nice. Because of time, we, we need to wrap <laughs> mad, up. Mad, thank mad. you. Mad, You're so very good much. with the punchlines, the lyrics. I yeah. like that. Thank you like so them. much. Really nice. Very revealing interview, mm -hmm. honestly. Mm -hmm. uh, but we have to go. The word of the day says leadership is unlocking people's potential to become better leader. That's from Bill Bradley. Um, leadership is unlocking people's potential to become, become better. better.
Mm. Yeah. So, guys, um, we've had an amazing time. Make sure you stick around for Man of the Year. Yes, on Sunday, on Sunday uh, Echo Hotel and Suites Convention Center. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't miss it. Of course, if you don't have tickets, you can watch on Silver Television. Uh, it's going to be streamed on um, YouTube as well. And, of course, social media platforms. Follow us at 937 Rhythm FM. Follow us at Silver Television. And, of course, uh, be here mm. with us. We have everything oh. you need in terms of entertainment. Okay, so it's uh, David Bob DK's birthday. Oh. What do I feel like? Oh, Bob Dyke. That's another year again. Because Mercy and they, they share birthdays. Oh, so, so it's also Mercy Frank's birthday. Oh, for real. And David, okay. he's uh, coming for a cake. Yeah, we'll be coming straight up after the show for a cake. He doesn't eat cake, so no. I'll just take his own care. I'm good. <laughs> God bless you tremendously. <laughs> so we'll see you guys uh, on Monday. See you guys on for... Monday. Have yourself a fabulous day. And please don't panic by this. And off will now. At least... Try and rest. If you don't have anywhere to go, so just, just stay, stay at home. home. Please. Don't you don't clog the traffic. traffic. Right? They should not clog the, the road. The road. With stay the at home. <laughs> don't don't, burn. don't burn. Stress yourself. Yeah. Don't stress yourself. Mm -hmm. Please. Stay at home. Okay, right? guys. We'll see you on Monday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.